The history of the motorcycle began in the second half of the 19th century. The basic concept seems to have occurred to numerous engineers and inventors around Europe. In the period from the late 1880s, many different ideas emerged in France, Germany and England. Numerous products were developed as bicycle makers were adapting their designs for the newly developed internal combustion engine. In 1901, the bicycle maker Royal Enfield introduced its first motorcycle. This had a 239cc engine mounted in the front and driving the rear wheels through a belt. George Townshend and Company began in Hunt End manufacturing bicycles with Enfield Manufacturing Company Limited as their commercial name. Townshend had financial difficulties and in 1890 called in financiers from Birmingham who then brought in Albert E.D. and R.W. Smith. They took control of Townsend's company in November 1891 and the following year rechristened the firm the E.D. Manufacturing Company Limited. Soon after they obtained a contract from the Royal Small Arms Factory in Enfield, Middlesex and to celebrate this, E.D. and Smith renamed the product the Royal Enfield. Their trademark, Made Like a Gun, appeared in 1893. With their need for expansion, the Royal Enfield moved to their new and final site in Hill Road, Redditch, in 1907. The first of the famous Enfield V-Twins was launched in 1910, and in 1915 came the first of the small two-stroke 225cc engines. During the First World War Royal Enfield supplied motorcycles to the War Department and in 1924 the first Royal Enfield four-stroke 350cc single using a Jap engine was launched. In 1928 Royal Enfield began using saddle tanks and centre spring girder front forks, one of the first companies to do so. The bikes now had a modern appearance and comprehensive range and in 1927 they produced a 488cc with a 4 speed gearbox. In 1928 a new 225cc side valve bike and in 1931 a 4 stroke single. With new machines ranging from a 2 stroke 146cc sidecar to a 1140cc V-twin Royal Enfield's range of bikes in 1930 consisted of 13 models. During the Second World War, production changed to support the war effort. The Flying Flea was a 125cc machine being capable of being dropped by parachute. Meanwhile, in 1931, a new bike, the Bullet, was introduced, which was the first use of this name. In 1949, new models were introduced and the 350cc bullet was a financial success. In 1953, a 500cc model appeared, which would eventually become the famous Interceptor. However, Japanese competition steadily increased beyond the investment capabilities of a small company. In 1962, the Royal Enfield was sold to Ian H. P. Smith and in 1967 the Redditch factory was closed. The site was then purchased and developed by the Redditch Development Corporation as the Enfield Industrial Estate. In 1954 the Indian government had placed a successful order for 800 bullets and in 1955 and 1956 similar orders were placed. As a result the Redditch factory decided to set up a factory and in 1955 an Indian partner was found and trainees were sent to Redditch. Initially knocked down units were shipped to Madras where they were assembled but by 1956 a full factory was established and production of the Enfield bullet began. Due to this the Royal Enfield motorcycle can still be purchased in the UK manufactured in India but based on Redditch designs. Specialist UK suppliers add accessories to produce bikes for enthusiasts which are replicas of those produced in Redditch in the 1960s.